welcome to episode one of Living in My Own World. Hope you enjoy. So, now that he has come into the world that he created, we can finally use him to our advantage to control this world. Just imagine the possibilities. We could be partners. We could rule the world together. But Master, if he doesn't agree to this plan, what will happen then? Then there will only be one ruler. <laughs> a good episode of tap time okay quincy you should get some rest for your singing competition tomorrow yeah you're right little bro you should get some rest too quincy huh huh probably nothing Welcome, Quincy. Who's there? I'm Willow. Well, thank goodness, because I was starting to think that I was going to need an appointment with the audiologist, but why is your name Willow? Well, honestly, I, I wish I knew. But on to important things. Well, yes, let's move on to important things, starting with a very important question. <clears throat> How did you get into my house? Well, first of all, you created me. And second of all, you thought of me coming in here, so I came in here. First of all, how did I create you? You and I are like the same age. I haven't even been married, for goodness sakes. I'm 11. Oh, jeez, this is going to be hotter than I thought. Okay, do you remember when you were singing the Imagination theme song downstairs by playing Tad Time? Yeah, I was playing with my little brother. Well, by using your imagination, you created me, Willow, and a whole new world. Okay, but if I did create you, then I want proof. Dude, your name is Quincy. I've said it like twice. Anybody could know my name. You could be a cousin of mine that I don't know. <sighs> okay, this is going to take like a whole lot more. Okay, here's what I want you to do. Just close your eyes and dream of an open, industrial, diverse world. <sighs> Where am I? Quincy, welcome to the world that you created with your imagination, Astoria. Let me give you a tour around. Well, I feel like a movie or a show has taken the name Astoria um, somewhere, but okay. Well, this is my best friend, B9. Boo beep ba ba. And this is my pet, Labu. Little cutie cutie. <laughs> He's a little sleepy right now. Wow, this is amazing. But I'm starting to get kind of a headache. I'm gonna need my glasses. Well, now it's time for you to know why I, I really called you here. So, you know that since that you created us, you are our master. But somebody else is trying to take that role. You see, whoever this is, he is running managers out of, out of businesses, stores, restaurants, you name it. And we've had the Astoria Marshals look everywhere for him and they found nothing except this finding in the skies. They said that it was very tall, like a very tall building, taller than any others. That must be where he is hidden. But we've been trying to look for a hero to stop him and nobody stood up. I guess that stopping him is just a fever dream now. Well, I think that it's time to put that fever dream into real life now. Wait, wait, stop! What are you doing this for? Are you crazy? Are you actually about to do this? Yes, I am. This means something to me even though I just got here. If this world is a part of me, then I think that it is worth saving. And I am going to stop whoever's doing this to, the, to my world. One way, 
or another. Okay, but before you go, I think you should know that this world is a fragment of your mind. And if it is destroyed, it may also destroy you and who you are. Are you going to let that happen? Not by a long shot. For Astoria! Yes! Thank you! You hear that, everyone? Our master, Quincy, is our new hero. Thank you. I think I'm gonna need some more help, starting with Scruffy. Can I count on your help? I'll take that as a yes. And now, the final person trying out for the school play, Quincy Davis. Hello everyone. I have come to play a part in this new school play. Now, I've decided that I would like to sing my own song for a part for the play. So thank you all for enjoying and listening. I was locked away from myself. I didn't have anyone else. Until I saw what was like a dream. I opened the door and saw a whole lot more. A family that gave me a chance to redeem. Nothing is impossible as long as you use your mind. Watch and see, and I'll be living in my own world. Oh, when the night falls and there's no hope at all, like the underworld, a spark of hope will help you climb with the grip of a rope and you will be living in your own world even in the darkest moments when all you feel is pain like you're living in different world a lively chase when you pick up the pace I will be cheering throughout the world watch and see and I'll be living play. Thank you. He has finally come into the world that he created. It is time to put the plan into motion. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Living in My Own World. Thank you for watching.